Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to the final part of our 50 puzzles. This will be puzzles 41 through 50. I appreciate all the kind of constructive comments throughout the week. This has been a super good time. Today, setters are Oddly Even, Frappy, Palfly, Ken Glue, Fast Sandals, and then this, I don't know what this means, but this says Samurai with Timotav, Ken Glue, Palfly, Oddly Even, and Frappy. I'm sure everybody watching this understands what that means i don't so i'm really excited to get to that and figure out what that is um it's in bold it's a in my list it's a big bold thing so that's probably something exciting uh let's go ahead and get started this is doubled by oddly even rules put the digits one to four once each into every row column and two by two box doublers one cell in each row column and box is a doubler this cell's value counts as double its digits for the line each, ooh, this cell's value counts as double its digits for the line. Double its digit for the line. Each digit from one to four appears once each as a double digit. Region sum line. The sum of the values on the line within a box must be the same for each box the line passes through. Okay, perfect. Region sum line, and then each number, um, one cell in each row, column, and box is doubled for the line. Okay, perfect. What colors? I'm assuming I'm going to use doubled and not doubled. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pair of colors to use are. I've been doing pink and blue a lot. I think blue would work for the line. I, I'd be fine with that. Maybe maybe just in case uh, we should do... Oh, I'm spending so much time deciding what colors to use. Let's do pink and orange this time. Pink will be doubled. Orange will be not doubled. Okay, so... Um, I have my row and column line markers on. That's all these are. The one, two, three, four aren't part of the puzzle. Um, da, 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 da. where do I want to start? Oh, um, well, all four cells here are part of the line. So it would be 10, but one of these is going to be doubled. So if the one is doubled, it could be an 11. If the two is doubled, it would be 12. If the three is doubled, it'd be 13 or 14 if the four is doubled. Ooh. So our line is either going to be 11, 12, 13, or 14, right? One, two, three is six plus four doubled eight would be 14. Yeah, that math works out. So um, this is wild. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, or 14 with only two cells here, and it's not a two. Um, wow. I would think this two is not doubled, and we would want to have the doubler on the line. Um, our options, we could do a doubled four and a three, or a doubled four and a three. That would get you to 11. If you do a doubled three, that would get you to six, and then adding a four would only get you to 10. I think this has to be a doubled four and a three, so this is going to be a one off the line. Not a gray. It's going to be a one off the line. This will be 3-4 where the 4 is doubled. We said doubled is pink. Orange is not doubled. One of these is doubled, uh, which means these will not be doubled. Here, okay, so we're going for 11. That's the only overlap we have with all of these. We're going for 11, which means the 1 will be doubled here. That's helpful. Um, and actually, we can uh, almost place that. A 1 will have to go up here because of this one. So the doubled cell will go up here, uh, one of those. It won't go down here. If this is a doubled cell, this can't be a doubled cell. So this will be a doubled pink. Four. The doubled one will be one of these. And then this will be one four. I have the hiccups. No. Two, three here. Not doubled. We're going for 11. This will be three, four. One of these could be doubled. And then this will be one, two. Or actually one of these will be doubled, we should say. Um, if I can't double the four again, then the three will be doubled, meaning that'll be six plus four gets you to 10. So I need to put a one on the line and a two here. Um, in here, we will double a two somewhere. It'll be one of these two cells. Can I, can I place this? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not yet. Um, a two will go here and this will be doubled wherever it appears. And then this will be a one. 
if this is doubled, then this won't be doubled. So this is doubled. This is the three. This is the four. So this will be two, three. Two is doubled. And this will be one, four, not doubled. Oh, um, the line here. This is five. Nope, sorry, the two is doubled. This is seven. And then we need to have a four to get to 11. So that's four. This is one. This is four. This is one. This will be doubled. This is not doubled. Um, since this is doubled, this is not doubled. You can only have one each in each row and column, meaning this is the two. This is the three. This is the two. And this is the three. Very nice. Something is odd here. Can you feel it? Uh oh. Uh oh. What does that mean? <laughs> What does that mean? Ice Age by Frappy. Normal 4x4 Sudoku rules apply. Wait, was that applying to the last puzzle? Was something odd here? Oh no, now I'm going to overthink it. The line, the line was odd. We were getting 11, right? Uh-oh, I'm going to overthink it. Next puzzle. Ice Age by Frappy. Normal 4x4 Sudoku rules apply. In cages, the digit in the cell with a number in the top left corner of the cage Minus all the other digits gives the total in the top left corner of the cage. Question mark cannot be zero. Okay, in cages, the digit, let's look at this. In cages, uh, yeah, let's start here. This is a cage. The digit in the cell with a number in the top left corner, so the digit in this cell, minus all the other digits gives the total in the top left corner of the cage. Oh, so this minus this will be this. What? This cannot be zero. Okay. This is probably a good place to start. This minus this will be negative four. Um, if you do one, two, three, that'll get you negative four. Is there another way to do it besides one, two, three? One minus five is negative four. Um, if you go up to two here, you would have to have minus six. You could do two, four. Um, you couldn't use a two twice and you couldn't do three, three. Could you do a three and then minus seven? No, you'd have to do three, four and you can't use a three here and here. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to double check one minus five. Yep. This would be two minus six, but the only way to get six in a row would be two, four. So you'd be using a two twice and you can't do that. Three minus seven would work, but in order to get seven, there's no five, so you can't do fi two five. You would have to do three four, and you'd be using a three twice. So yeah, this is going to be one and then two three. Perfect. This is a question mark. This is interesting. It just can't be zero. Okay. Um, we know this is a four because of Sudoku rules. Negative one. This just means that this will be one higher than this one, really. So this can't be a one, but it could be a two and then a three. It could be a three and then a four. That would work. Um, what else do I want to look at? This is going to be a 2, 3. This is going to be a 1, 4. Okay, I was wondering what you could do with this, but you do know it's negative. So you know that these two sum to more than this. That is helpful. That is helpful. Um, if a 1 can't go in here, a 1 would have to go here or here. Both are still fine. Um, what can I look at? This is 2, 3. This is 2, 3. So this is going to be a 4. Meaning 1 will go here or here. That's fine. Um, 4 can't go here. So 4 will go up here. And 4 will go here. That's still fine. What can I do? What can I do? If this is a 1, this would be really easy. If this was a 4, this would have to be 2, 3. Oh, okay, there. If this is a 4, this would have to be 2, 3, and then there's nowhere for 1 to go. So this will have to be a 1. Right? If this is 4, in order to get a negative, you have to go bigger than a 4. The only way to do that with two cells and not using a 4 would be 2, 3. Yep, so this will be a 1. This will be a 4. 
if this is a four, then this will not be a four. This will be a three. This will be a two. This will be a three. This will be a two. This will be a two. And this will be a three. One minus five is negative four. Two minus three is negative one. That's cool. Um, one minus anything will be negative. So let's see, here we need a one and a three. Three can't go here, so this is a one, this is a three. Um, one, two, three, four. Three, four, this needs to be a two, one. This will be a one, and this will be a two. The air is getting colder, stay focused. <gasps> Ice age, the air is getting colder, I get it, I get it, I get it. Next puzzle. Paradox by Powfly. Place the digits one to five exactly once each into each row, column, and box. To accomplish this, each row, column, and box has exactly one cell containing two digits called a Schrodinger cell. For the purpose of arrows, the value of the cell is equal to the sum of the digits in it. Okay, the value of the cell is equal to the sum. Okay, values along an arrow sum to the value in the connected circle. Interface note, it's not possible to write two digits in one cell. So Schrodinger cells can be left empty for answer check to trigger. Suggested notation is having two center marks in the cell. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, wow. Um, for the purpose of arrows, the value of the cell is equal to the sum of the digits in it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, just by first glance, this is so long. I would think this has to be two numbers. Place the digits one to five exactly once each into every row, column, and box. To accomplish this, each row, column, box has exactly one cell. Okay, every row, every column, and every box has one cell that contains two digits. Okay. Um, colors. Maybe I'll do pink and blue. I'll do pink and blue for um, two cells versus single cell, maybe? So, uh, where do I want to start? What's like the minimum this could be? One, two, three. Oh, you should probably do like one, three, two, and then do one, two. So that'd be six. This would be nine. So this could be like four, five. Wait, yeah, it has to be. Wait, that's the lowest you can do? The lowest these three can be with being three separate numbers is one, two, three. The lowest this can be with being two separate numbers is one, two. So that's nine. So this would have to be four or five. That was a good place to start. Is there any other way I can do that? If you do like, no, anything else. That's the lowest the line can be and the biggest the arrow can be, four plus five. Okay, so let's mark this as four or five and we'll lock that in with a pink. This is gonna be some combination of one, two. Um, oh, um notation here that that's a double number i i have the pink there the pink is fine the pink will tell me that stays how it is that's a double number um one two this is going to be one two three you can't have both one and two here because that would break this so three cannot go here Three will have to go here or here. And that's cool. Um, then you have one, two, three, four, five. That works. So this will not have a double number. This will not have a double number. This also will not have a double number. So we've used one and two here. We used four, five. So this will be a three. Well, this is difficult. Can you double... It's not doubling. I shouldn't say doubling. Can you combine four and five again? Each row, column, and box has one cell containing two digits. It doesn't say I can't do the same numbers again. I only ask because if this is one, two, three, this is going to have to be four, five again. Four, five. Four plus five is the biggest you can go. And this is the smallest you can go. Yep, I, I, I like that. I like that. We have one, two, and we have four, five, three. Um, meaning this won't be doubled. This won't be 
What was the word I was using? I had a good word for this. Schrodinger? We could say Schrodinger. This won't be combined. Um, okay. If this is 1, 2, this is going to be 3, 4, 5. If this is 4, 5, 3, this is going to be 1, 2. Also because of this. This is equal to this plus this. And this is not combined. Yeah, that's fine. I would imagine this is the combined one to make it bigger. It's on the circle. You could do three and one. Uh, that's four, five. Can I get nine if I combine four and five again? I don't think so. If this is four or five, we would be stuck with a three here. So this would be one, three, or two, three. No, that'd be way too big. Oh, so this one is not doubled then. Well, what if you do three and four? Oh, I said doubled again. Combined, combined. Three and four here would be seven. You could do three, four, and two, five. That would work. Any other options? Three and five, two and four would not work. This is going to be three and four to be seven. Then this is going to be two. Whoops. This is going to be two and this is going to be five. This is going to be one. Pretty sure that's the only way that works. Um, two, five. Here you still need one, three, four. One of these will be combined. This is one, three, four. This will be two, five. Nothing saying where these need to go yet. Okay. Two, five. One of these will be combined. Oh, it'll be this one specifically. Not even on the arrow. We already have one for the bottom row. So whatever this is will be combined. Um, I don't want to mark it until I've locked in what the two digits are, maybe. Three, four, two, five. This should not be a two. For the way math works, you can't add two numbers to get a two in a four by four puzzle where they're in the same region. So this will be a five for sure. Now, how do we get the five? This is a two. Five plus two, or five equals two plus three. Yes. So this is going to be a combined one, four. If this is two, three, this will be a one. This won't be one anymore. So this will be a two. This will be a three. This will be a one. And it says I can leave them blank for the solution checker. Um, This will be a two. That's it. There's no going back now. I want to look at this again. We had uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 All, it, it checks these, so everything should be good. Good to go. Very nice. The first time I've done um, Schrodinger cells. <laughs> Combined ones. That's it. There's no going back now. Oh, Paradox. I get it. I get it! Fire by Ken Glue. I probably shouldn't yell that, huh? Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits increase on the thermometer from bulb to end. The line is a zipper loop. It has two centers on the line which are to be determined by the solver. If two cells are an equal distance away from a center, they sum to the digit in the center. The center cells must be friendly cells. Ooh, friendly cell means equal to its row, column, or box number. Okay, um, I've done zipper lines before, but they had a defined ending, so I knew where the center was. This is interesting. So zipper lines, I punched my mic. If this is the center, then zipper lines, two centers. If two cells are equal distance, they sum to the digit in the center. Yeah. So if this is the center, if this is one of the centers. Oh, how does that? Okay. It has two centers, which are to be determined by the solver. If two cells are an equal distance away from a, from a center, they sum to the digit in the center. So... If this is the center, then these two sum to this, these two sum to this, 
these two sum to this. Um, it looks like this would be the opposite side. Would this necessarily be the other center? If, if it was this one. Because then if these two sum to this, it would also have to sum to this, which that would actually break. Um, this would have to be the same. But as an example, that's how center cells work. Okay, I got some clarification because I wasn't entirely sure how to interpret this. Um, the center cells, whoop, that's the wrong line. Um, this, the loop has two centers, right? So I wasn't sure if this is a center, if then this would need to be the other center because they're equidistant, they'd be the same number. These two together would sum to this and also this, that kind of thing. Um, basically the answer is to be determined by solver. It could be like that, but it might not be. Um, it would have to work out, like, these could not both be centers, because they'd have to be the same number. But this could work, this could work, that kind of thing. So we have to figure that out. Um, a zippered loop, wow. A thermometer, I know this is going to be one, two, three, and this is going to be two, three, four. Our options, if they're not across from each other, like if they're not the same distance apart, if this is a center and these two sum to this, and then this is also a center and these two sum to this, that would be a lot of options. I don't want to go through and test every single pop possibility like what if these two are centers what if these two are centers what if these two are centers that would take a long time um oh they're friendly cells let's mark possibilities for friendly cells and see where that gets us that'll be easy with the row and column markers um this will be two three okay friendly cells i should explain they are either the row the column or the box number right so this is row two column three, and box two. This is row one, column four, box two. This is row two, column four, box two. This is row three, column four, box four. This is row four, column three, box four. Row four, column two, box three. Row three, column one, box three. Row one, or sorry, box one, column two. So options for centers. I, it definitely can't be a one. It definitely, okay, I should take this out. These are possibilities for if this is the center. There is no way it could be a one. We would have to have some zeros here. So I'm going to take the ones out. Options for centers now. Would two work? If this was a center two, these would have to be ones. These could both be ones, but then these would also have to be ones. And if these are ones, these can't be ones. So let's take out two from here. Would two work here? These would be ones. This would again be a one. No, this kind of breaks it. I don't think there's anywhere where a two would work. If this was a two, these would both be ones. If this was a two, these would both these would both be ones. If this was a two, these would be ones, but then these would have to be ones. So I don't think two is going to work. So our options are three, four. Would three, basically this can't be a center. That's good to know. Um, would a three work? Then we would have stuff like one, two, two, one, one, two. Oh, that could work. Oh, but then this couldn't be a three on the other side. So if we're using a bunch of ones and twos that can't be the center, you also can't put a three here because it's not a friendly cell. Okay, so this would not work as a center three. That was a bunch of words that kind of made sense. Um, If this was a three, this would be a one-two pair. This would be a one-two pair. This would be a one-two pair. We already know that ones and twos can't be a center number. So this would have to be the other center. And since it can't be a three, um, ones and twos aren't going to sum to four. So this won't work as a three. What if this were to be a three? And this is a one, two pair. This is a one, two pair. This is a one, two pair. This would be a three. 
Nope. Would this work as a three? Um, this would be a one two pair. This would be a one two pair. This would be a one two pair. These could not both be three. What if it's like this? No, no. I I like what I'm saying. If this is a three, it would have to pair with this as the other center because I explained that as all of the other numbers would be one twos. That doesn't work. Okay. Um, if this is a three, this does have the possibility of also being a three, but you can't have two threes in the same column. So this won't work for either one of them. Um, this is the only three left. This would be a one, two. This would be a one, two. This would be a one, two. This can't be a center three because it's not a friendly cell three. It's box one, column two, row two. So there aren't threes. So two of these are centers. If this is a four, our options are one, three, or two, two. This would be paired. This would be paired. This would be paired. Those two could work. I can't do four, three, because we figured out that threes won't work. So it has to be fours. Okay. It has to be fours. And it's going to be fours on opposite side. Opposite sides. So these work as a pair. It won't be this one because you can't have another four here. Ah, but like I haven't said what if it's this four and this four. They would, no, they would have to be opposite each other. They would have to be the same distance apart because if this is a four centered, a center four, these two go together, these two go together, these two go together, and four plus nothing would equal four. So I, I, I kind of figured out myself by trial and, trial and error that they do need to be opposite each other. So it won't be this one. Was it this one that paired with this? I think it's going to have to be these two as the two centers. Those are the only ones that work. This doesn't have anything across from it. It was this one, I believe, and this would go here. I'm going to go with these are the two centers. I'm going to mark in blue. Or apparently, they're going to be pink. And they're four. Um, I don't like the pink and red together. I do have to change it. Blue. Those are the centers. So this needs to sum to this, and this also needs to sum to this. This can't be two twos, so it's going to be one three. This and this need to sum to four. Can't do one three because there's already two one threes in the row, so these are just going to be twos. This is going to be... It can't be another two because of this. So this is also going to be one three. These are going to be different one threes. All right. Um, because of Sudoku, this is also a two. And because of Sudoku, this is also a 2. So this is a 1, 3. Um, 4 needs to go up here. This is also a 1, 3. We can use some colors to say the pairs of 1, 3s. This is going to be a 4. And this is going to be 1, 3. That'll help determine which one is which. So if this is green and this is yellow. This would be green. And this would be yellow. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, the line. If this is yellow and this is its pair along the line, this will be green. So this will be yellow. So this will be green and this will be yellow. Um, so I lost the circle. Okay, um, this is the circle. So this needs to be the smaller one. So yellow is one and green is going to be three. Very nice. It's very close. Believe in yourself. I have to fix the colors. Um... I'm just going to take out these because the only thing we really wanted to color was the centers. Okay. It's very close. Believe in yourself. Next puzzle. Medieval skirmish by fast sandals. Normal 4x4 Sudoku rules apply. Gray cells are fortress cells. Digits in a fortress cell must be larger than the digit in all non-fortress cells that are orthogonally adjacent to it. Digits on an arrow must sum to the value in the attached circle. Gray cells are fortress cells. I've done this once before. Digits in a fortress cell must be larger than the digits in all non-fortress cells that are orthogonally adjacent to it. Okay, so this needs to be 
larger than orthogonally adjacent. Larger than this, 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 and this. Arrows, digits on an arrow must sum to the value in the attached circle. Perfect. So, in a 4x4, four four, our options for arrows, when the line is in the same row and column or region, is going to be 3 and 4. Meaning this will be a 1-2 pair. And this will be a 3 because 1 and 2 together make 3. So this is a 4. Options for this would be 1-1-2. One, one, and I believe that's the only way to do it. So this will be a 1. Because this cannot be 1-1, one, one, it's in the same region. If this is a 1, this can't be a 1, so this will be the 2. This will be the other 1. If this is a 1 and this is a 1, then this will be a 2. And this will be a 1. Sudoku says this is a 3 and this is a 3. And this is a 4. If this has to be larger than all of these, the only way it can be larger than a 3 is if it's a 4. So this is a 2. So Sudoku says this is 4, 1. And this is 2, 3. This um, already is a 4, so this is a 1. So this is a 4 and this is a 3. So this is a 2 and this is a 3. Very nice. It's time. Prepare yourself for the final confrontation. Boss battle. Okay. What was it? it was called a samurai. Is that what it was? Prepare yourself for the final confrontation. Boss battle. Okay. 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 The epic final battle under the moonlight. Timotab, Kim Glue, Powfly, Oddly Even, Frappy. Samurai. This is huge. Each of the five overlapping grids follows the standard 4x4 four four Sudoku rules. Top left. Digits placed. Okay, let's look. This one. Oh my gosh, they overlap. I see. Oh, wow. Digits placed on purple lines must be non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. Non-repeating set of consecutive digits. Okay. Digits separated. Oh, wait. Top right. Digits separated an arrow sum to the digit in that arrow circle, the center. Digits separated by a black dot are in a 1 to 2 ratio. Digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Bottom left. Adjacent digits along a green line must differ by at least 2. And bottom right. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. If given, digits may not repeat within a cage. Where do I start? Oh my gosh. Let's start with cages. I like cages. So like right here in the middle. 4-4. Four, four, th this is a 4. This is going to have to be 1-3 because it can't be 2-2. Two, two. So if this is 6, this is going to be 2-4 for the row. Um, options in a 4-4 four four for a black dot. One, two, or four, but basically you can't put a three here. So this will be a three. And then a two or a four. So this will be a one, two. You can't put a one here with a three. So this has to have a one, so it'll be a two. So this is going to be three, four for sure. Okay. Can I do more than that right now? I don't think I can figure out more here without looking at the other ones. Uh, so let's go for cages down here. Numbers won't repeat in this cage. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a five and you can't use a three. So this is one four. You can place a four here and a one here. This you could actually say, if this is the numbers one, two, three, I will clean that up in a second. This can't be a one, two, or three. So this is going to be a four. Um, this can't be a 1 or a 3, so it's a 2. These are not 2 anymore. This is 1, 3, so this is a 2. Um, meaning you can't have a 2 here. You can't have a 2 here for Sudoku, so this is a 2. Um, this is a 3, and this needs to be a 1, 4. This can't be a 4, so it's a 1. This is a 4. This is a 2. Um, this will also be 1, 3. And I don't think I can say which one is which yet. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, let's go over here. These are bottom left. Adjacent digits on along a green line must differ by at least two. Okay, so. Oh, there was something somebody commented on the last one of these I did. That was really helpful. 
oh no, what was it? It was something about it's not only high it goes like high low high low but also something else shoot i kind of want to go back and look for the comment that feels a little like cheating now was it that they needed to be odd no no no. it was that when okay if what's a good example okay here if these two see each other this can't be a two or a three right because if this was a two the only other options to go with it would be 4-4, four, four, and that doesn't work. This can't be a 3 for the same reason. The other two on either side of it see each other, so they can't be 1s. So this can't be 2-3. This will be 1-4. Um, if this is a 1, this could be 3-4. If this is a 4, this could be 2-1. can't really say what that is yet. Okay. Um, but that's nice. That's helpful. So like here, a two or a three would work because these don't see each other. Would a two or three work here? These don't see each other. Would a two or three work here? Yep, these don't see each other. Okay, this one. I don't know if I can say more. I don't know. Those don't see each other. These don't see each other. These don't see each other. Okay. Maybe we need more info. Maybe once we get this, we can do more with that. Okay. Um, top left. Digits placed on purple lines must be a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. Perfect. Um, if these are consecutive, this will have to be a one or a four. This will be two, three, four, or one, two, three. These are consecutive and these are consecutive. Meaning this will be like one, two. This can't be two, three because this would be stuck being one, four. And you can't do that. Um, but this could be two, three. And this could be. Nope, this also can't be two, three because this would be one, four. Um, so it's going to be one, two, and three, four, definitely. If this is three, four, this would be a two. If this was one, two, this would be a three. Ooh. If this is one, two, this would be a three. If this was three, four, this would be a two. So this is a two, three. Either way. I was thinking that might be more helpful than it was. Hmm. These are all consecutive. That's in a different region. This whole column has consecutive, has one, two, three, four. Okay, let's take a break on that one. Maybe look here. These don't see each other. This could be one, one. So this could be two, three, four. This could be two, three, four. Uh oh. I was hoping I'd be able to do more with that. This will either be one, 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 two, or one, three. But you definitely use a one here, right? There's no way around that. Okay, wait, that that makes sense. If this is a two and this is one, one, this breaks. Because then you can't put a one here. There'd be nowhere to get no way to get three. No, shoot, you can do two, two. Dang it, you can do two, two for a four. They don't see each other. <gasps> Never mind. You don't have to use a one. You could use one, one. And then the other one could be two, two. Or you could do one, three. Is there more I can do with that, maybe? Oh, man. You don't have to use ones, though, like I said. Would... You can't do two, 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 so one of the arrows will have a one, at least. 
Is it possible for these to both be fours? If you do one, three, two, two, that would work. Man. Okay, what else do I want to look at then? Um, if this is two, four, two, four, this is one, three, one, three. We could have done that. If this is one, three, one, three, this is two, four, two, four. Could have done that. If this is one, two, one, two, this is going to be three, four. If this is three, four, this is one, two. Editor Kathy here. I just wanted to mention real quick how cool I think it is that no matter whether I started with the center 4x4 or the bottom right 4x4, that overlapping cell ends up being a 1-3 and has to be narrowed down by the other grids. I think that specifically, that cell is super neat. Very cool. So we're going to do this one last probably once we get some corners. If this is three, four, these can't be three and four. So either they'll have to both be four or we'll have to use a two here. Does it work if they're both four? I said you could do one, three and two, two. If these are both four, this. You couldn't use a three here or here. That would break this. Is there, I keep wanting to take this two and say that this can't be a two, but that doesn't make sense. Um, if this is four, this would have to be two, two. That's fine with this. This would be a three and this would be a one. Three, one, two, this would be a four. Meaning this could not be a four. If this is a four, this could not be a four. And it also couldn't be a three. It would have to be a two. If this was a four, this would be a two, one, one. But that would be broken because I put a one here, didn't I? Yep, that would be. Um, we might be able to say this can't be a four then. Let's look at this. If this is a one, this this can't have a two and a four in it, actually. This would break. The green line is sorry, bottom left. Adjacent digits must differ by at least two. So this can't have both a two and a four on it. That would break this. That's helpful. So this won't be a four because you would have to use one, two here. This will be a one. And then my options here will be three, four, making this a two. That was nice, actually. This is a three. This is a four. This is a one. This is a two. Um, this is a three. This is a one. And this is a three. One, three, two, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. If this is a two, you also can't put twos here. So this is going to be one, three, four. One of these is a one and the other one's a three, four. But you can't say which one yet. Either one works. Either one works. This will also be a one, three, four. This can't be a one. This also can't be a one. So if, um, let's see. One is going to go here or here. One is going to go here or here. Do I want one on the line? You could do one, three, one, or one, four, one. And then this would be one, three, one. You wouldn't be able to put a three here. This could be one, four, two. That would work. One, four, two. 
this would be a two. Okay, that's a that's a little that's a bunch of jumps. We placed a one here. What can that help us with? If this is a one and this is a two, three, we need to put a four somewhere. Top left pink lines. Non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. Um, if this is a If this is a four, this would be two, three. Ooh, if this is a four, I think that breaks this. This would be two, three, meaning this needs to be two, three, and that won't work. So four can't go here. This will be the four. This will be two, three. Meaning this is two, three, this is one, four. If this is one, four, this is one, four, this is two, three. Um, wow, this works either way. These are the same. And these are the same. Man, I keep wanting to take this two over here. Um, but if this is a, a two, one, three, or a two, four, three, actually, either one of those works. This will either be one, two, or four, three. Yep. Okay. This needs to be, you need to have another one, four here, and then also a two, three. A one will go up here, and a four will go here. They can't both go here. That would break this line. So one of them will go here. I mean, that's good. Meaning this will be one, four, and this will be two, three. That could have also been figured out by saying green can't go here, so this will be a green two, three. That's actually a lot better. Um, red will go here and here. Can't say which ones yet. Um, this has to be a one. So this is a two, three then. You can't put a four here. This is a four. This is a two, three, and it's a red two, three. Um, I went in a really roundabout way and I, that, that didn't really make sense, but this makes sense now. <laughs> um, the second way I did this is better. This is four, this is one. Um, still doesn't matter which one's which. Four needs to go here. Uh, four can't go here, so this is a four. And this is a red two, three. Um, red needs to be three, actually, because of this line. So these are two. Okay. We have one done! Wait, I just realized. We have one of them done. Perfect. Um, and it lines up with this well. Can I do more here? Or maybe with arrows? Hmm. We haven't done a whole lot with the arrows. I kind of said this couldn't be a four, but I wasn't really confident about that. Top right, digits along an arrow sum to the digit in that arrow circle. We can't do three and four here.
I said if this was a four, this could not be one three because no matter where the three goes, it's going to see this, which already sees the four, so that would be broken. If this was a four, this would be a three. So this would need to be two two. This would be a one. If this is a three and this is a four, then this would have to be a two, making this one one, which would break because of that. So this can't be a four. Two, three. If this is two and that's one, one. Could this be a four? For the same reason, would that break this? If this was a four. Yeah, these don't see that. That'd be fine. Hmm. I'm not super great with these um, whispers lines. Is there something I'm missing here? Three, four, three, four, two. Feel good about that. One, three, four. One will go here and here. Also here, so this won't be a one. We're gonna have a two here. Oh, that's interesting. You can't put a two here. This will also be a two. Could I put a two on the line? If this is a two, these would both be fours. This would have to be a one. And this could be a three or a four. I think that's fine. Um. If these can't be ones, that also means that these can't be threes. If this can't be a one or a three, this would have to be two, four. This can't be a one because of this. And this can't be a three because I can't put a one here. So this will be two, four. Now I'm going to take off some of these pencil, the corner marks. This will be two, four for sure. If this is a two, this would be a four. But if this is a four, this would also be a two because it can't be a one. Oh, we have a two, four pair. We don't want to double check this. This can't be a one and this can't be a three because this can't be a one. So this is a two, four. If this were to be a two, this can't be a three. That's too close. The only thing that can go next to it would be a four. If this were a four, this can't be a one, so this would be a two. So we have a two, four pair. So this is three. This can't be three then. Um, two, four, two, four. This could be a one. This would be one, two, four. I believe. If this was a two, this would be a four. If this was a four, this could be a one or a two. Yeah, this can't be a two because this is a two. We already have a, I, I forgot about this. This is included in the region. This is a two, so this can't be a two. Um, so this is either a one or a four. Could it be three? There's no way it could be a three with the options being two, four next to it. This would have to be a one or a four. Okay. What can that tell me? If this is a one, this could be a three or a four. If this is a four, this could be a one. Can I say something about this? This is off the line. Um. 
Maybe something with what the these see. This only sees that really. If this is a four, this would be a two, and this would be a three, and this would be a four. That'd be fine. Is it possible for this to be a one? Would that break this? Because right, right now, one could go here. One doesn't have to go up here, right? Nope, one does have to go up here. The only options are one, four, one, three, four. And you can't use a two. You can't put four, three next to each other. So one does have to go up here, meaning this can't be a one. So this will be a one. That is really helpful. That's, that's going to help a lot. Um, if this is a one and the only options are two, four, this is a four. And this is going to go down to a two. Uh, this is a three and this is a four. Um, this is a three because of Sudoku for the region. Meaning this is not a three. This would go from one to four and this would go down to one. This is going to be a two, three pair. You can put three here and two here. If this is a one, then this is a one and this is a four. And this is a two. Nice. Cleaned that one up really well. That unfortunately did not tell us anything about here though. Which means I might need to be able to do something more with the arrows. There's definitely nothing I can do here, right? This is like... I can't do anything with this. Numbers can't repeat in cages. That's fine. You're going to have one of each. Um, these are horizontal pairs. And we don't have any pairs vertically to narrow it down. This is just a 2-4. This is just a 1-2. Orientation doesn't matter. 1 has options. 2 has options. 3 has options. 4 has options. And this is the exact same. Okay. Arrows it is. Um, Possibilities. If this is a two, this would be one one. If this is a three, this would be one two. Oh, maybe I should have written that in a long time ago. Um, that's pretty restrictive. If this is a two, this would be one one. If it's a three, it'd be one two. If it's a four, it would be two two or one three. This is 3, 4, meaning this can't be 3 and 4 here. This is a 1, 2, no matter what. Maybe looking at this as a whole? Where can 4 go? Let's say if 3 doesn't go here, 3 would go here. Ooh, 4s. Four, a 4 has to go here. Which means a four will have to go here. Shoot. That's not really helpful. That could be. If this is not the four, if a four goes here and this is three, four, this would be one, two, one, two. This would be three, four. Meaning this would be two, and this would be one, one, and this would be two. You have to use a one here. One of those will be a one at least. Four has to go here. So four has to go here. Yep. One, two, three, four has options here. We said this can't be a four. Is there maybe something that this can't be? This could be a four because this could be one, three. One would just go in the other place and then this would be a three and this would be a two. If this is three and this is one, two, you would have one, two, one, two. So these would be three, four. Would that break something? These would have to be the same three, four. Oh, wait. 
I think that would break something. If this was a three and this was one, two, one, two, these would be three, four, right? If this is a three, this would have to be a four. That might work. Hold on. If this is a three, this would be one, two. That means these would be three, four. If this is three, four, three, four, this would be a two. So this would be one, one. And this would have to be two, two, which would break that. This can't be a three. Two. If this is one, one, this would be two, two. And this would be a four, which isn't an option anymore. So this is a four. This could still be two, two. Dang. Or it could be one, three, but this is a three, meaning this is a two. So this is one, one, meaning this can't be one, one. This will be two, two. Um, if this is a three, this is a four. If this is a four, this is a two. This is a four. This is a three. This is a one. This is a three. This is a one. This is a two. This is a one. This is a one. This is a three. And this is a one. And this is a three. Almost there. Um, two, four, this is a two, so this will be a four. One, this will be a one, this will be a three. This needs to be one, three, so this is a three, and this is a one. This is a three, this is a four, this is a two, and the last one here is a four. Victory! Thanks for playing! Very nice! Like this puzzle. As always, leave some very kind words for the setters this week. And let me know if you solved these differently. I'm very interested to know. Um, very nice. Thank you so much for all these puzzles and for all the love this week. This has been super cool. I really appreciate it. Nice.